Welcome to this follow-up tutorial to the little series I did on working with 3D where we're looking at panning a large scene and I'm going to do a couple of examples. One's going to be a scene that I've already created with lots of different layers and the other one is we've got one big layer or if you like one big composition and we want to look at different parts of that composition. We want to be able to pan between them and what's the best way of doing that when we don't have different layers that we can copy and paste between. So I'm going to bring into this composition, this is a standard HD composition, I'm going to bring in a large photograph, something called card wipe, and drop it into my composition and you can see that it clearly doesn't fit. It's an awful lot bigger than the actual scene. So I'm going to do shift forward slash to zoom back in my viewer. So what I want to be able to do is zoom around different parts of this image and I can use the same technique that I've demonstrated before on this individual layer by using nulls as targets and this is how we're going to do it. We're going to make the layer 3D so that we can actually use this effect and then what we're going to do is we're going to create a series of nulls. So say I want to look at four different parts of this image so I want to create four null layers. Now you go layer new and null object or notice that there is a keyboard shortcut which is control alt shift y command option shift y for a Mac so I'm actually going to create three more with that shortcut don't worry about the numbers, we'll rename them in a second. And as I said previously, I always want to number these as the targets in order that I want to see them. So I'm going to take the first one, hit enter, call it one, second one, two, third one, three, and the fourth one, four. Now obviously you would give them more descriptive names, it would be four, tiger shark, three, whatever it is, black tip so that we can actually go through them and, and work out what they are. Now, for this technique to work, these null layers also have to be 3D, so I'm just going to click and drag and make sure they're 3D. And now I can use the same technique to look and set up the scene to be able to take these null objects and move them to the place where I want the camera to follow. So, I can go to my active camera drop down here and go down to one of our custom views. So there's a custom view. Now, I have already clicked view, look at all layers. So if you don't get quite the same view as this when you do it in yours, you must make sure that you choose a custom view. Don't do it with your active camera, do it with a custom view. Make sure you choose a custom view and then view, look at all layers. Then you can go to each of these individual null objects and you can move them. Now clearly you don't have to move them in Z. So you can hover it over here, you can see I could pull it backwards and forwards, but they're all on the same plane. So I'm not going to play with Z, but I am going to play with X and Y. And if I want them to move quickly, I can hold the shift key and then I can pull them across and get to the individual bit that I really want to see. So say I want to look at that part of that one for one and choose two. And let's look at something completely different right over the other side. Let's, in fact, let's look at this, this shark head on here. We'll look right. And three, let's go right down to the, the black tip or whatever it is at the bottom. I'm not an expert on sharks. It's just an image I downloaded from photolia.com and four let's go up here to this eye here so again we can move up I'm holding the shift key just to make everything move that little bit quicker so now I have four targets in order one two three and four and I could rename each layer but I would still leave the number one two three and four in there so that I know the order I want them to follow next job I need to create a camera and I need to create a camera controller. So camera is layer new camera, or well, notice again is control alt shift C or command option shift C. So we can click that to create our camera. I'm gonna choose a standard 35 millimeter camera and click okay. So there's my 35 millimeter camera ready to go. And now I need a controller. Now if you're on CS 5.5 or above, you right click and you go to camera, create orbit null. But if you're at 5 or 4 or 3, you just create a new null object. So you go layer, new, null object, and make sure it is 3D. And then link the camera or parent the camera to the null object and rename that null object cam control. So we clearly know what it is. Okay, so now we're ready to set everything up. I'm just going to give myself a little bit more room here. 
and I'm going to choose cam control and holding my control key, command key on the Mac or the Apple key on the Mac, choose those layers that I want to work with and then go P and in this time I don't need to shift R because the only item that I'm actually changing in this one is the position. So make sure my current time indicator is at the beginning of my composition, click away so the layers are unselected and decide do I want to start on one of these nulls or do I want to just start in the middle. In actual fact I think I want to start on one of these nulls. So I'm going to go to point one which is looking over here at this sort of eye of this I think it's a black tip. Select position and click copy then go up to my cam control and paste and now the camera if I just click on the camera you'll see is now looking at that point. So I can now click the stopwatch to say this is where I want to begin. And I want to stay on it, say, for one and a half seconds. So I can paste again. And then you'll see that it's stayed in that position. And then at three seconds, I want it to look at the second position. So choose two, choose position, control C to copy, up to cam control, control, control V to paste. And I want to stay on it for a second or more. So control V to paste again, saying don't move. So now we do have a movement between the two. And then say at six seconds, I want to be looking at layer three. So choose position for layer three, copy it, control C, go up to cam, control paste. And I want to stay on it for a good second or more. So control V to paste again. In other words, exactly the same place over a whole second. It's not going to change. And then after one and a half seconds, I want to look at layer four or position four. So choose P for position and control C to copy. Go up to cam, control, control V to paste. And it will stay at that place. So if I choose the camera, we can have a little look and see what's happening. It's staying there and then it's moving to that one and then it's moving to that one and then it's moving to that one. Okay, they're all okay except perhaps the first one as we can clearly see the camera's going to be showing me some black background here. So this is the point where I might then open up the camera and open up the transforms potentially of the camera or maybe even the camera options and start playing with zoom. So I might pull the zoom out a bit but at this particular point what I would do is now go to the active camera. So go to the active camera and I can put a zoom and I can get really close at that particular point. However when I then move to the next one I might feel that I needed to move out again so this is where I would need to animate a zoom. So click the stopwatch for zoom and then don't change zoom until the next keyframe arrives. So I need to see the keyframes and I want to be on the keyframe, use the keyframe navigator here, make sure I'm on that keyframe and then make sure I add a hold keyframe if you like for zoom so zoom's not going to change over that period of time and then go to the next one which is just there or again you can use this navigator to make sure you get to the exactly over the keyframe and then I think I need to play with zoom this time so I might zoom out a little bit to get a, a different feel for what I'm looking at and then again I don't want that to move to the next keyframe so I can use my keyframe navigator to get across there hold keyframe, zoom don't change, and so on and so forth throughout your composition. So if I hit the space bar just to play, you can see it's going to zoom between these different bits and pieces. Going between the nulls as and how we wish. So that's how you can use nulls to be able to go through different items on a single large composition simply by making it 3D. Now on the final composition, I've actually got a whole bunch of different layers that are in different parts in 3D. Now I've already placed them in 3D, so if I go to my custom view and I say let's fit and make sure we're looking at viewing all layers, I think we are here, but let's just check, look at all layers, there we go, slightly better view. And we've got a whole bunch of bits and pieces except one of my no layers isn't 3D, so I'm just going to make sure that's 3D. Now what I want to do is start to set up these null objects as targets for these layers so that I can pan between them. Because at the moment, if I choose the position of these layers, I've got a massive great big layer here, and I actually want to zoom into the particular parts of this layer. And I can use my null objects to help me. So let's just set this up. Let's say for layer one, I want to look at Lindisfarne. So I put Lindisfarne above one. And layer two, I want to look at, say, the, the seabirds. So move that to just above layer two. Layer three, let's think that that's going to be the card wipe. So put card wipe above layer three. And you get the idea, you just sort of set it up however it's going to work best. And then we've set it up and we know how these are going to move. So now I'm ready to move ahead, I need to choose the position of all of these items and make sure that I can copy and paste. So I'm just going to drag down to select all of them, hit P for position. 
and then I'm going to choose Linda's farm position, copy, choose null object one, position, paste, and go all the way down. So seabirds position, copy, to paste, until those null objects are now where they ought to be. Now clearly I don't want to select these layers again now, so I'm going to choose the photo layers that I just want to turn off. Don't really want to accidentally move those now that we've got the null objects in about the right place. But I do want to be able to access the position of my null layers. In actual fact, at this point you could, if you wanted, turn off the turn off the, the shy guy and actually turn off the visibility even of the images because we don't really want to see the images anymore. We just want to play with the null objects and it's uh, a lot more organized if you actually turn off these layers. So we've just got six null objects and we want to play with the position of those and we can select them one at a time. So there's one, it's actually on Linda's farm and again holding the shift key and I can move it around. Now clearly the, I don't want to move the blue one, I don't want to move Z, I just want to move X and Y. But what I'm doing is I'm zooming into the area that matters. So choose null 2 which is right over here and I might just want to get a little bit higher on the head. Of that seagull, of that seagull, or whatever it is, and three. Whereabouts do I want to be? Well, I think I probably want to be back over here, at the black tip. Four. Again, I want to be more on the castle. A little bit more on the castle there. Five. And again, I want to be a little bit more on that very beautiful castle, which I went walking last year and thoroughly enjoyed. And the seal's probably about right where it is. So now I've got my bunch of targets. My targets are absolutely right on the layers, which are huge, and I can use the position of these targets to make sure that my camera goes to exactly the right place. So I can create my camera. So Command Option Shift C or Control Option Shift C to create the camera. I'm going to go again with a 35mm, click OK, and I want a cam controller. Again, CS 5.5, you can right click and go to Camera, Create Orbit Null, but we'll do it the old fashioned way. Control Alt Shift Y. Command Option Shift Y to create the null, rename it Cam Control, make sure it's 3D and parent the camera to that Cam Control. And now we're ready to start copying and pasting. And it's as simple as this, so choose Null 1 and choose its position and copy. Choose the Cam Control and paste. We are now looking, if I choose the camera, at that null object. So we can choose the stopwatch for position of cam control. So hit P for position cam control. Stopwatch, we're now linked to that item. I can go forward a second and I can again paste to make sure that I've said don't move over that second. Go forward to two seconds. Choose position of camera two. Copy. Choose cam control paste and so on and so forth. Again, I want to paste that again to say don't move paste and then if you wanted to move to six well we've only got 10 seconds but we theoretically could be moving to six at this last place copy and paste anyway you get the idea it's as simple as that so now i can go back to the beginning click home hit spacebar to play well, let's actually just move the camera so we can see the camera so select the camera play you can see that the camera is going to move across this scene and it will be moving backwards and forwards to take into account the Z depth of all these layers that are layered up in 3D space. So if we go to our active camera, we actually have a look at it, go back to the beginning, so hit home, hit spacebar, you can see that we're zooming into the bits that we want to look at. And of course you can finesse this by pulling the layers in and out, looks a bit weird, because of the way that the camera is so zoomed. But you remember, if you want to, again, we can go back to our custom view. If you choose the null layer and the for position, there is the path, and you can finesse this path. We can see the position for all of these things, and again, we have the ability to be able to decide how we're gonna move. And of course, if you go in time, you can actually pull along to the point in time where you want to change the path. And if I wanted to, I could even pull the path out at this point. And then I could change how that curve works by pulling these handles out. So that when it goes over this final bit, it's actually got quite a high pull off. We could pull back quite a long way if we want to. So I could pull out quite a long way if I want to. i just quickly go back to my active camera for this very last one. You'll see that we start close on that particular one and then zoom right out and back in again. 
So it's up to you how you play with these particular bits and pieces. You can finesse the paths, you can play with the paths, you can zoom in and out, you can play with the camera's zoom. But this is a way of being able to pan around large scenes to be able to get into exactly where you want to get into by using null layers effectively as targets that you can then follow through. Well, I hope you found this quick follow-up useful. My name's Andrew Davis, and thanks for watching.